Hi everyone, welcome back to Gloomy Galleon. In the last video we took care of most of the lighthouse area. In this video we're going to move into the other big area in Gloomy Galleon, which has a lot more stuff in it. And a lot more glitchy stuff as well, so that's going to be fun. What I'm doing right now is opening the mechanical fish. This is one of Diddy's golden bananas from the level. I'm on a time limit so I need to get there quickly. But I haven't opened any of the gates between the two areas, so how am I going to do that, I wonder. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is raise the water because that's going to help with something later on. And after that, I'm just going to pop through this wall like it's completely normal. And I'm going to move towards this tag barrel a little bit. And I'm going to go this way. And with any luck, we will be in the next main area of Gloomy Galleon. Just like that. This game never ceases to amaze me. Like I said before, this is one of the glitchiest levels in the game. There's going to be a lot of things like that. And that didn't actually save that much time, although it looked cool. It didn't save that much time because all it really did was skip having to open those gates. I wish this guy would open his mouth. He's really pissing me off right now. I better not run out of time. I've seen that happen in a couple of speedruns. He just would not open his mouth. Oh god, he's opened it and I can't get in now. That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. Alright, we're going in. No, we're not. Oh man, I'm scared now. Look at this. Oh my god, I got in as his mouth was closing. Well, whatever, we're in. That guy is a glitch in himself. So in here, we have to... Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is play my instrument, because there's some bees in here, and I want to kill them, because they get really irritating when you're trying to do this. But what we need to do is destroy all of these things, and you just have to hit them all a bunch of times. I'm not really... I don't really have a lot of peanuts right now. I'm probably going to not be as reckless as I usually am. They take like uh, three or four hits each and you've got like a hundred seconds to do it. It's not that hard. But it seems like it will be sometimes but we should be good. Like this one up here only has one more hit left on it. And you can only hit them in a set or certain pattern. Like this one at the bottom you can hit every two times and then these two at the top is every other time. That was probably explained horribly, but yeah, there's you can only like you only have time to hit one of the ones at the top before it starts spinning again. I've tested it and it's like either impossible or really hard to do to like hit both of them before it starts spinning. So I'm just not gonna bother trying to risk it. Just play it easy. And even though I've already hit this one, it's gonna stop in front of it, which means I can't hit this one until the next uh, time it spins, which is now, which makes this section really slow, but. At least it's not hard, especially with the bee gone. Just one more hit. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, no, I'm stupid. I thought it was going to show it, but there's one more. Come on. Okay, that should be us. And that gives us a nice golden banana. If it lands in the water, I'm going to try and pick it up while I'm swimming because it'll skip the little dance. I'm not sure if it really saves any time in here actually because uh, it doesn't let you leave this place until you pick it up and I did get the dance anyway even though I'm underwater right now. I don't know what's up with this game sometimes but now it's going to kick me out. So next thing I want to do is swim down to where the mechanical fish was because there's a bunch of really easy regular bananas to get here. Which is kind of the case for every Kong in the underwater sections, they're like everywhere and it's really easy to get up to 75 which as I've mentioned before is all we actually need for 101% we don't have to get all 100 every time I'm just being careful not to like swim past these and end up taking ages to pick up a bunch of bananas so the next thing I want to do is Diddy Kong is I want to get his banana from inside this big ship this one like it's kind of like the thing in Jungle Japes where you're supposed to hit a switch and like run back here as each Kong and get inside it. But thanks to this game being Donkey Kong 64 we can actually just do this with literally every Kong. We can just go through the side of it. He lied. Never mind. This one's actually kind of tricky sometimes. I don't know why it is but this particular swim through wall glitch doesn't really work all the time. 
There we go, I got it. And I've done my homework. I know that Diddy's one is this one over here. So I can just jump straight in. And I'm on the other side of the bars now. And yeah, there's some red bananas, so we know we're in the right spot. And there's also some banana bunches over here. That I want to grab. Another one over here too. And he has a bonus barrel, I think. Yeah, he does. I think this one is... Yeah, it's this game. Welcome to bonus it's pretty fun, except for the fact that the ones that are like in the middle, like this one right here, they can be kind of hard to grab because the depth perception is so bad. But other than that, this is a fun little mini game. This one right here is particularly horrible. Like I've got no idea where that is in relation to me. I really don't. I'm just gonna have to try and... Okay, see like, that was obviously above me but I had no way of knowing that. It looked like it was below me. But I got it anyway. There's another game like this later on where it does the same kind of thing and it's just as tedious. So, how many more? Just two more. I know where the last one is, it's outside the... Outside the water. So I need to find the vine. There it is. Oops. This is not good. It's going to take it easy. Okay. It would have been bad to have to do that again. So I'll just pick this up. As you saw, it didn't show the little dance there where he picks up a golden banana. That's what I was trying to do inside the mechanical fish. I don't know why it didn't work there, but it did work here, so... It's all good. And as you can see, I just pop out at the other side of the bars. So I'm never actually going to have to open a door in that ship, which is awesome. And here is another uh, room in Gloomy Galley, and this is the treasure room. It has a bunch of bananas for uh, three of the Kongs. Four if you count Donkey Kong's blueprint. You're supposed to use Ungar, the fish, to open this place, but of course I'm not going to bother with that. It's a waste of time. I'll just swim through the wall. And I'm going to grab everything with Diddy Kong before I do anything else because I'm already Diddy. If I can ever get up there. Okay. Now I'm not going to be a jackass and try and moon tail up this whole thing. It's actually kind of difficult to do it on that one. I will do it with the next semi spring pad, but yeah, as you can see, Donkey Kong's uh, like a splat is right here. And there's no way for Donkey Kong to get up here. But. We'll see how that's resolved in just a second. Alright, let's hope this doesn't take too long. Perfect. I really don't like this game because you need to be kind of slow at parts of it and I'm very impatient by nature and I like to just go fast all the time because I'm a speedrunner. But yeah, it's just you need to be careful and not get caught. It's really annoying if you do get caught because you have to sit through the whole thing again. And they have the same patterns every time. So I guess you can develop strategies and stuff to get past them quickly, but I haven't really bothered to do that. I'm pretty sure the route you're supposed to take is, yeah, you go up here and then left or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Why do I feel like I've taken a wrong turn? Yeah, I'm sorry if this is boring. It might take a few tries because I'm really not good at this game. This mini game, I mean, not DK64. Not that I'm really good at that either. Okay, please tell me it's over here. Please tell me it's over here. It's not over here, fuck. Well, I'm probably gonna have to do it again now. Yep. God damn it. It's not fun either, like, it's not a fun mini game. It's just really long and boring. I just hate having to wait for stuff ever. Oh well. At least I know the path now, so it's not going to take as long. Just have to wait for this guy to turn around. I tried to like moon tail over this uh, wall right here. It doesn't let you do it. There's still a huge invisible wall on top of it. I'm not going to bother trying it right now, so I'm going to run out of time if I do that. Yeah, see? He doesn't go over it. So let me think. The last time I went left... Uh, the next turn. I'm going to try going right this time. Oh my god. Okay. This is probably the right way because there's a guard here. I don't know why he'd be here otherwise. 
Okay, there we go. See, just one simple decision like that can completely screw you over. Oh well. I got it in the end, so it's no big deal. Cool. So this opens a warp pad, which is what lets Donkey Kong get back up here. That is the only use for this warp pad in the whole level. It's pretty lazy design, honestly. They could have just put his kiss splat somewhere else. It's already activated, which is also weird. You don't have to stand on it to activate it. Actually, I'm gonna grab this because I'm kind of low on ammo. So I'm gonna make a quick switch to Tiny Kong. There's a couple of things that I can grab with her in here if I can ever make it into the barrel. There we go. What you're supposed to do with her is to enter this chest right here. You go through the lock using this tiny barrel up here, but I'm not gonna bother with that, and I'll explain that in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to take care of something with Lanky. If Tiny would ever get out of the water. She has a balloon right here, so I'll try and pick that up. Okay. The underwater controls are not great. But I can't really fault the game because they're kind of not great in every game. It's not really anything exclusive to this one. So I'm going to use Baboon Balloon to get up this first ledge, but with all the other ones I'm going to skip it because you don't actually need it. You can just backflip as long as you stand on the right spot, where when you press the button he doesn't go into it, he just kind of crouches instead. Oh, actually I want to grab that. It's going to grab all the bananas I see here. Oops, wow, I don't even know where I'm going, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is like such a slow climb. Oh, come on. Thank you. Okay, finally. So, Searchlight Seek. Pretty easy game, you just have to hit this guy with the watermelon. He said, right before missing it. Yeah, like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. This gets kind of difficult later on, or at least it can get difficult, because you have to hit more of them before the time limit goes down, and sometimes they can be hard to see. A lot of the time they spawn next to where the last one died, and when that happens it's really easy. As you can see I did that pretty quickly, but sometimes they spawn halfway across the thing and it's really hard to actually see where they are, because it's dark obviously. So, I've given Lanky Kong a lot of shit in this playthrough so far, I've done nothing but bash him really. I'm actually going to talk about one of his strengths right now. He's actually, although he's the slowest Kong on land, he's actually the fastest swimmer of all of them. So I'm going to use him to get Tiny's pearls from in here. I'll just swim through the keyhole like it's nobody's business. And in here, you're supposed to come in here as Tiny as I mentioned earlier and go through all of these clams and just pick up the pearls inside. The idea is that you give them to the mermaid later on, but I'm going to collect them as Lanky because, as I said, he is the fastest swimmer. So it makes the most sense to do it as him. Especially because I'm going to exit the level after this. And I'm going to need that. I'm going to need him at the start of the level to get his blueprint, so... I mean, this has all been timed, and it really is noticeably faster to do this as Langy, or even to do it as Diddy Kong as well is a lot faster than doing it as Tiny. She's really slow in the water. Please don't hit me. Okay. Well, as long as you get knocked out, I guess it's no big deal. He's going to close his mouth before I can get there. Mm, I probably could have made that, actually. I'm not sure. Let's just play it safe, though. Alright, one more to get. Every single one of them has hit me, I think. That's a record. Alright, can I get it? Can I get it? Yes. Excellent. So, I'm just going to exit the level, jump back in. There's a bunch of stuff for Lanky right here, which is perfect. Let's grab some of these, because I like to be stocked up. I don't think I really need these bananas, but they're right on my path. I'm just going to pick them up anyway. Gives me a nice number, 10 instead of 5. So, he has a blueprint in here. We saw this as Chunky Kong earlier. 
and with Chunky I was able to get up here even though the water was lowered, but the reason that I raised the water uh, as Diddy Kong earlier was so that I could easily get up here as Lanky. That was the only reason right now. Come on. There we go. And with that I'm going to head back to the lighthouse area because there's a couple more things I can do in there. Just going to take the same path that I used in the previous video. I'm so used to going this way that like even when I play this game normally now I do it this way. I don't know. I'm going to switch to Engard in a minute, the swordfish, and I'm going to use him to open some chests but I don't actually need him to open this one because I can just swim right through it and grab the bananas inside. Saves a bit of time. Because like when you're in guard you can't actually pick up these bananas, you just open the chests. And that's no good, that takes forever. So let's grab these coins and I'm going to switch to them now. If I can find the box, there it is. So on guard, I've already skipped a lot of what you need him for in this level. To like open the treasure room and stuff, but there is one thing that you do need him for. It's to open a chest down here because Lanky Kong has a banana in it. I'm going to try and transform back to Lanky during this sequence. Because, yep, that means he can pick up the banana during the cutscene, which saves a little bit of time and looks really cool. So, one last thing I want to take care of right now, I'm in the perfect spot for it, it's something as Tiny Kong. I'm going to switch to Tiny and I'm going to turn in the pearls that Lanky collected, that you're supposed to collect as Tiny. I don't really need these coins, do I? No, I'm fine. You can't actually glitch through this thing, you need to take the Tiny Barrel, unfortunately. I've already tried. And she is really slow, especially when she's this small. But it's okay, it's a short distance. So I'm going to turn in these pearls and I'm going to get a golden banana as a result. If this freaky mermaid with eyes that never shut would stop crying and let me get on with the game. I think she keeps crying even after you give her the pearls, at least if you exit this place and then come back in, she's like still crying, I don't know what's up with that. Alright, where's the banana? There it is. Come on, Tiny, don't do this to me. Just pick up the banana. Don't talk to me. Come on. What is this? Like, what is this cutscene? I've never seen this before. Why is it going so long? Alright, finally. So, that's it for this video. I'm going to actually exit the level now to get back to the start, but instead of doing it the normal way, I'm going to do something a little cooler. Is it this wall? Yeah, it is. I'm just going to swim straight out of bounds so that I die, and this puts me back to the start of the level. Which is probably slower than just pausing, but it looks cooler, and I wanted to show it off anyway. So yeah, that's it for now, but stay tuned, the next one will be up soon. Thanks for watching.